The soy checkoff has been in place since Congress authorized it in 1991 as a way to fund soybean research and promotion efforts. The checkoff rate is one half percent of the market price of each bushel of soybeans sold each season. The United Soybean Board oversees the investment of those dollars, which are leveraged to build demand, find new markets, and improve the profitability prospects for every soybean farmer. Before he returned to the farm, William Layton worked for a large automaker, and he saw the resources that his employer put behind their product. They've got a legal department, they've got an advertising department, they have a research department, and farmers don't have any of these things. They can't afford any of that. But the checkoff provides those things. They provide research, they provide uh, promotion and advertising and outreach and those kinds of things. And so I see that the checkoff is extremely important because it's, it's that opportunity for farmers to have those things which they can't afford on their own to really promote their product. Now that he's returned to the farm, Layton has seen firsthand the value of his investment in the soybean checkoff program. It's amazing how many ways the checkoff really is helping farmers in different ways. The biggest way is building demand, um, looking at how can we increase demand for soybeans, whether it's, it's selling more of the soybeans that we have, or creating uh, better soybeans like the high oleic beans that create new demand for soybeans, promoting them to, to other countries, uh, to places that aren't currently buying our soybeans. Discover more about the value of the investments being made by the United Soybean Board on behalf of the Soy Checkoff by visiting unitedsoybean.org.